Good evening, I'm Joe Vodvarka for JSV Traffic with this Friday night update. We have a lot of incidents going on this evening, so let's get right into it. Here at I-76 approaching Belmont, we do have an accident that is blocking the outbound on-ramp at this time. And it has caused traffic to significantly back up here, as you can see on Belmont Avenue. And also on uh, I-76 exiting at Belmont. Traffic is very congested at this time. As you're going to see on the next camera, we're going to go back one camera before the Belmont exit. And you can see outbound, there's just nothing but a sea of headlights going up and bumper to bumper stop and go, generally from the City Ave merge out through to the Belmont exit at this time. Now my best bet to you, advice to you, is you might want to get off at the City Avenue exit just to avoid the Belmont area because yes you can get off at Belmont but it is very congested right now because of this accident that we have on the on-ramp. It's report that there is an overturned vehicle getting on to the ramp however I haven't been able to confirm it because the camera has never been positioned towards it but the ramp is blocked at this time additionally going inbound on 76 we do have an accident at this time right at Girard it is in the left lane and there has been no police or tow trucks on the scene yet I mean it's just sitting here and there's three vehicles involved as you can see here right underneath the, the bridge here that's in the left lane is blocked and traffic has been backing pretty significantly. It's already back to back to Montgomery, which is about a two and a half mile delay at this time, and it's continuing to grow. Hopefully the fire, the police or rescue squad get here soon to clear this out of the way, because this is just becoming a mess. Let's go to the next camera here, and let's see if, if we made any progress. Okay, the police are now on the scene. That's good, but still, this is quite a backlog, and it is growing. The good news is there is no gaper delay going outbound as of yet remind for that uh, we will be gaining volumes going outbound here within the next hour because any event that's going on downtown that will be ending soon now it does appear we have something that's cropping up here outbound on 76 at i-676 i just seen the cam the sensor there is starting to show a little slowdown but in the camera here it's looking to be moving well there is a lot of volume at this time though in both directions which is rather unusual for this time of night no delays on I-676 West approaching the I-76 outbound merge. That's looking pretty good right now, but within the next half hour to 45 minutes, expect to see a delay start to form there as we see the auto show end for the night and anything else going on downtown end for the night. Usually we get a delay here. And looking at I-76 on the right-hand side there, it is starting to slow down a little bit approaching this area. On I-95 this evening, we don't really have any delays to report. Everything's moving along fine. And out in the western suburbs, everything's doing fine on the Blue Route 202, 422. The Northeast Extension, which was extremely backed up, headed towards the Poconos earlier, that's doing fine now. And matter of fact, we'll take a look at that. Here we are up there to Lehigh Tunnel. Southbound, there's hardly a car. Northbound, a few cars here and there, but that's about it. And take a look out in western Pennsylvania if you're headed out to the ski resorts in the Laura Summit area. Traffic is now doing fine exiting at the Dongle exit, which was backed up for approximately four hours earlier today. Be mindful if you're traveling out there tomorrow, anytime between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. tomorrow, delays can be expected at that exit. Over in New Jersey, we have a handful of things going on right now. Accident and a down pole and down wires on New Jersey 73 in both directions between Archram Way in Mount Laurel Township and Lincoln Drive North in Esham Township. All lanes closed and detoured. There is a five minute delay in that area. Also, up in North Jersey, as of 8.49 p.m., we have an accident on the George Washington Bridge westbound between New York side upper level in Manhattan and New Jersey side upper level in Fort Lee. One lane is open to traffic at this time and that has caused major delays up in that area. Also, we have a water main break on US-1 southbound in the area of Plainfield Ave in Edison Township. Left lane is closed for repairs and expect about a 5 to 10 minute delay in that area. And finally we have as of 9 p.m. we do have construction on I-295 northbound from exit 26S New Jersey 42 76 676 to New Exit number 28, New Jersey, Route 168, the Black Horse Pike in Belmar. One to two lanes are closed until 8 a.m. 
SEPTA Regional Rails has no delays report this time, no delays on the buses, no delays on the Market Frankfurt line. Also, Amtrak is running without delays, and so is New Jersey Transit at this time. I'm Joe Vodvarka for JSV Traffic. Have a great night.